If you are mistaken when they think that technology just automatically improves, it does not automatically improve. It, it only improves if a lot of people work very hard to make it better. And actually, I think it by itself degrade, actually. Mm -hmm. You look at great civilizations like ancient Egypt, and they're able to make the pyramids, and they forgot how to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Romans, they built these incredible aqueducts, but they forgot how to do it. I really think there's a fundamental difference if, if you sort of look into the future between a humanity that is, that is a space ring civilization that's out there exploring the stars on multiple planets. And I think that's really exciting. And compared with, with one where we are forever confined to Earth until at some eventual extinction event. But there, there are a lot of negative things in the world. There's a lot of terrible things that are happening all over the world, all the time. Uh, there are lots of problems that need to get solved. There's lots of things that are, yeah, that are miserable and kind of get you down. Life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need to be things that inspire you, that make you glad to be, to wake up in the morning and be part of humanity. That's why we did this. This guy called Tsiolkovsky, one of the early Russian rocket scientists, the great saying, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but you cannot stay in the cradle forever. It is time to go forth become a star-faring civilization, be out there among the stars, expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. I, I find that incredibly exciting. That, that makes me glad to be alive. I, I hope you feel the same way.